Hi there! Welcome to today's class. In this lesson, you will learn about areas of plane shapes and by the end of the lesson, you should be able to find the area of a triangle, find the area of a parallelogram, find the area of a trapezium, find the area of a circle, and solve word problems and quantitative aptitude problems on areas. The area of a plane figure is a measure of the surface it covers. If we use a square as the basic unit of area, we can say that the area of a region is the number of square units required to cover this region. There are formulas usually applied to calculate the area of any given shape. For example, to calculate the area of a triangle, you already know its height and length. It is simply half of B times H where H is the perpendicular height, also known as altitude, and B is the length of the base. Let's practice that by calculating the area of this triangle. From the image of the triangle, you can see that H, which is the perpendicular height, equals 4 centimeters, while B, which is the base length, equals 10 centimeters. Next, we apply the formula half of B times H, which is half times 10 times 4, and when we calculate it, will be equal to 10 centimeters square. And that's how easy it is to calculate the area of a triangle with known heights and length. The area of the next shape we'll be learning about is a parallelogram. As we have learned in our previous lessons on plane shapes, a parallelogram is a, is a quadrilateral that looks like a square, and the formula for calculating its area is B times H, where B is the base length and H is the height. Let's practice this by calculating the area of this particular parallelogram. From the image of the parallelogram, you can see that H, which is the height, equals 4 centimeters, while B, which is the base length, equals 8 centimeters. Next, we apply the formula B times H. We have H times 4, which equals to 32 centimeters square. And that shows how easy it is to calculate the area of a parallelogram with known height and length. The next shape we'll be learning how to calculate its area is the trapezium. As we have learned in our previous lessons on plane shapes, a trapezium is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel opposite sides, and the formula for calculating its area is half times A plus B all in bracket times H, where A is the length on one side of the trapezium and B is the length on the opposite side of A. Of course, H is the height of the trapezium. Let's practice by calculating the area of this trapezium. From the image of the trapezium, you can see that A, which is the length of one side of the trapezium, equals 20 centimeters. B, which is the length of the other side, equals 14 centimeters. And H, which is the height of the trapezium, equals 12 centimeters. Next, we apply the formula half times A plus B all in bracket times H, which is half of 20 plus 14 times 12 and then calculated would be equal to 204 centimeters square. And that's how easy it is to calculate the area of a trapezium with known height and length. The next shape we would learn how to calculate its area is a circle. As we have learned in our previous lessons on plane shapes, a circle is a round closed curve shape without line segments. The formula for calculating its area is pi r square, where pi has a constant value of 3.142, and r is the circle's radius, which is also the same as half of a circle's diameter. Let's practice by calculating the area of the circle. From the image of the circle, you can see that the radius is 10 centimeters. Next, we apply the formula pi r square which is 3.142 times 10 square and when calculated would equal 3.14 
0.2 centimeters square. And that's how easy it is to calculate the area of a circle with a known radius. Having learned how to calculate the area of different plane shapes, let's practice solving a word problem or a quantitative aptitude question with our knowledge of the area of plane shapes. I'll give you an example. What is the area of a circle with an unknown radius and a diameter of 12 centimeters? Using our knowledge of the formula of the area of a circle pi r square, we can find the radius of the circle since we know its diameter is 12 centimeters. As mentioned earlier, the radius of a circle is half of its diameter. Therefore, the radius of a circle with a 12 centimeter diameter is 12 divided by 2, which of course is 6. Since we know the radius is 6 centimeters, we apply the formula pi r square to find the area of the circle. Therefore, we have 3.142 times 6 square and when calculated, will be equal to 113.1 centimeters square. Therefore, the area of a circle with an unknown radius and a diameter of 12 centimeters is 113.1 centimeters square. With that, we have come to the end of our lesson on areas of plane shapes, where we learned how to calculate the areas of triangles, parallelograms, trapeziums, and circles, as well as solving word and quantitative problems involving areas. See you in the next lesson.